Hello, 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 everything Pisces. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable, because we're about to make it do what it do us. Hold on, y'all. I don't know what happened to the music. They probably said, am I still listening? Yep. Uh-oh. I didn't drop Y'all, I'm over here dropping shit. <laughs> don't be dropping shit all on my feet. Uh-oh. It's the bag with the, um, the names that come out the treasure bag. And it fell over on my foot. And it got heavy, y'all. It's big, too. But I still got a couple more um, reads out of the Purple Treasure Bag on that channel. Um, and that's the bag that fell. Um, I did do one today, though, over there on Purple Priestess. I haven't changed the name yet. I think I'm going to change the name on the first. I think we got 30 days this month. So tomorrow, I'll be changing it to Tanya's Treasures or Tanya's Treasure Bag or something to that effect. Um, and we're going to just do just treasure bag reads on that channel. So the collective reads that I was doing on Purple Priestess, I will take them back to Tanya's Tarot. So I'll be doing love and just regular collective reads on Tanya's Tarot. Everything is collective. Still go over there and watch your Pisces because... You guys are still part of the collective as well, so you may get something over there that resonates with you. And if you like the, like I said, the treasure bag reads, um, the Pisces bag that was here first is, is over there as well. So if you put your name in the first treasure bag, um, all your names, your person's name and stuff is still in that other treasure bag on the other channel. So you can watch over there too for the collective because your name and your people's name is over there. If you are Pisces, um, that has not put your name over there in that treasure bag and you want to, feel free to go over there and put your name and I'll add your name over there. Same thing just like over here, but it's different stuff in the bags, okay? So we get different messages. Um, personals are still open. I have not changed the special, so the special still running. If you want to get in and, and book, um... I don't know when I'm going to change it. Spirit told me to still leave it, so I still got it. I'm still going to do a free giveaway for May, though. Be looking out for that. Um, I don't know what we're doing yet, but I'll probably be still giving away a free 30-minute read. I just don't know what I'm going to have you guys do yet. Um, I think that's all the business, guys. Sorry for the new people who didn't want to hear the business, or if you didn't want to hear the business, that's the business. But everything is down in the description box. Oh, and if you bought products, everything went out yesterday. Um, so you should have received, um, uh, your tracking numbers, okay? Okay, now that's it. Now let's jump into Pisces Ring. That's all the business, babies. That's all. No, it's not. I just want to say thank y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who commented and sent their love about my little rant the other day about the person who got on talking about they don't like my hello, hello, hello. You guys made me feel really good, and I thank you. I don't want to cry because I'm a cry baby. As y'all can hear, it's tearing up in my voice as we uh, speak. Um, because I truly do appreciate the love that you guys give, okay? Um, this is not an easy job. But thank you. So let me get myself together. Why my music never came up? I hit the button. Hold on, y'all. I know y'all like, bitch, get it together. I thought I was getting it together. Why is it not playing? It's so up. Play. There we go. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. But y'all know I'm clear audience. I need my music. Y'all got a soulmate here. Now we can jump into it. So there's a soulmate here that's in your energy. Um, it says, this person you are inquiring about is your soulmate. That sense of familiarity and comfort you feel is confirmation. So um, whoever you're watching this video about at this time, whoever you're thinking about, yes, this person could be your soulmate. I would get a personal to make sure. Just don't assume. Um, and y'all know I always say, and I'm going to say it again. Get the personal. But you do not have to get it with me. I'm okay with that. But please get it from somebody that you trust. You shouldn't have to give them all your information, okay, babies? You shouldn't have to tell them nothing but your name, maybe your person name, and a zodiac sign if you want. I don't even need zodiac sign. Just give me your name so I can make sure it's okay to tap into your energy. Let your reader read for you first. 
and then you go and talk about it, okay? Um, if your reader is on point, they should be able to pull whatever you need before you even tell them, okay? Real shit. Okay, so here we go. Soulmate. Tell me about Pisces soulmate. What's going on with your soulmate that's connected to Pisces? Oh, this soulmate finna come in and make a move, baby. It says the time is now. Someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make the move. So, um, depending on where you are in this connection, if you're the one been thinking about making a move towards your soulmate, Pisces, now is the time. Um, if not, your soulmate could be about to make a move towards you here. Give me another one for Pisces and this soulmate. What's going on with Pisces and this soulmate? Huh. They want a new chapter. So you got a new beginning coming here, Pisces. This looks really good. Okay. There's a soulmate coming in to make a move. This could be someone um, that you know already. This could be someone you don't know. Okay. So take it how it resonates for you. If you're looking for new love and you, you want this new love and you've been calling in this new soulmate, this new connection, then this could be your new person coming in. If you've been sitting around wanting an old soulmate to come back or to return, you want to fix it with this old soulmate, this could be your old soulmate coming. Okay? Just depending on where you are on your journey depends on how this read falls for you. Okay? Now, please don't get down in the in the, in the comment section talking about you don't want your ex back. It's over. They this, they that. The more you write and talk about it, the more you're not over it. There's no need to talk about it. If you're over something, there's no need to type it. If you know you're not tripping off that soulmate or you're not tripping off that past person no more, it's no need to comment in the description box about it. I mean, in the comment section about it. But if you're still writing comments about you don't want this person, you don't like this person, yes, you do. And you need to go work on it, babies, okay? You need to go release it because if you're still talking about it, it's still in your energy and you're not over it and you have not let it go. You're only lying to yourself. You're not lying to me. And you're not lying to any of the other people that read the comments. Okay? Now you have a new chapter. A fresh start is always good for everyone. Doors are opening for this new phase within your love life. So there's a new chapter coming. Whether with a new person or an old person. I don't know why they're telling me to say it again. I'm going to say it one more time because I guess the people in the back did not hear me. If you do not want your old person back and you're looking for a new person, this is new. If you don't want your old person back and you're not looking for nothing, then I don't even know why you're watching the read. If you are not want your old person back, this soulmate can be a new person, a brand new chapter, okay? Take it as a new love. I don't know who that was for, but God said to tell it again, so I said it one more time. For those of you who got it, I'm sorry that I keep repeating it, but it's somebody in the back that wasn't getting it. And I just do what I'm told, okay? So I was told to repeat it, and I did. There's some exciting news coming in, babies. Good news is coming your way. Whether it be a pregnancy, an engagement, or moving in together, get excited to celebrate. So there's going to be a new chapter in your life here. You got new coming in. New, 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 new. Okay? Whether it's a new love or a past love coming in and new energy. They're coming to make this move. And I feel like this is going to make you very happy. I get nothing negative about this energy. So if you're feeling negative, get off the channel. This is all positivity here. Yeah. For some of you guys, it is somebody coming in to shoot their final shot. For others, it's don't fuck around and miss out on this person you've been calling in this new love you've been calling in because you're guarded and you miss out on your person and then you end up complaining like god never sent you nobody god never answered the prayers but you're so guarded and blocked that you're going to miss out on this blessing okay babies so wherever you are on your journey heal you Heal you so you can be open and receptible. So you can be in the energy of being vulnerable. Able to let your guard down. So you can experience a real connection. And whoever this is coming in. They're going to like to kiss. They're going to like to kiss. Um, it says now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot. Then you will always wonder what if. So for those of you who have somebody coming from the past to return. They're going to shoot their shot. Because they're afraid that they may miss out on you. For you, you guys who have a new person, 
if you don't allow this person in, you block them, you push them away, you may miss out on your shot with this connection. That could really be a long-term committed relationship for you, what you've been asking for. Um, Pisces, all placements. There's somebody who's watching. It could be just one person. Um, you're still holding on to some things. You're not quite sure how to let go. Um, I heard start off doing a burning bowl ritual, okay? Um, write down how this person hurt you. Write down what you're still holding on to. Write down um, how it made you feel, okay? Get it all out and then fold it away from you to seal it. You can fold it as many times as you want once you finish writing. And then take it outside you can put it in a bowl, a barbecue pit, set it on fire. As it burns, say a little prayer that you're releasing this energy. No longer, It's no longer a part of you. Um, you're calling back your energy. Anything that does not belong to you, you're letting go. And you're moving on. Start there, okay? And then um, we'll work from there, okay, guys? For whoever that person was. Maybe more than one of y'all, but for sure I heard it was one person that needed that. They, they're unsure how to let go. Unsure um what to do so first steps to start by writing it down getting it out and you can say whatever you want to say on this piece of paper it can be more than one piece of paper and it may take you one day it may take you a month to get it all out it's no time period guys and there's no right or wrong words when it comes to the prayer when you're releasing it okay so you can't do anything wrong follow your intuition follow your heart clarify this soulmate i hope that helps whoever that was yeah, so this soulmate was trapped up under some type of illusion. And I do feel like now they're listening to their intuition. So they could have been trapped under illusion by someone else, somebody that was in their ear, someone outside of this connection. But now they're listening to their intuition and they want to persevere, the nine of wands. Clarify to make a move. Collective energy for my Pisces. All placements. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so there was a lot of delays when it came to this connection, okay? Um, if Even if this is a new connection, there were a lot of delays in your past. A lot of things that needed to be healed, to be released. You had to get out of the illusions from past and persevere to get to this new connection. Um, if it's your past person coming back... It was a lot of things, a lot of illusions they were caught in that they had to release. They had to learn to follow their intuition so you guys can get past these delays. And the delays are coming to a end. They're coming toward you to make a move. Yep. So they're coming towards the Pisces, the high priestess. And I feel like they're intuitively guided. And they're coming in this king of wands, very confident, very passionate. They're going to be trying to find a creative way to come in to get back in here with you. Can I find the exciting news? Yeah, you've been very patient. Okay, I do feel like this person wants to have equal give and take now. They want balance. They also see you as this earth angel. They don't want to miss out on this connection with you. Yeah, they see a future with you, three of wands. And this person's headed towards you. Brand new car. Oh. Yeah, the two of cups. So there is a soulmate connection here for sure, a friendship, an unbreakable bond that's coming in. And you've been very patient. You, you've been praying and waiting for this. You've been working on you, pouring into you, healing you. And I feel like because you've raised your vibration now, your person has raised their vibration. If it's a past person or this new person is coming in, um, reflecting the same energy that you're putting out here. You have closed out a lot of karmic cycles here, Pisces. And luck is in your favor. Some of you guys may have some type of, of uh, lump sum of money or some type of money coming in here with this will of fortune. But for a lot of you guys, I just feel like things are finally starting to work out. They're finally starting to fall in place for you here, Pisces. Yeah, Hierophant. 
So this person um could have been talking to God. God could have stepped in here. This could be divinely guided. Um, I also feel like this person wants marriage. They want a long-term committed relationship with you. Okay. Which deck? This deck. Okay. Pisces. Call placements. Pisces, all placements. Clarify this soulmate for my Pisces. Okay. So your soulmate is getting ready to come towards you. I feel like they find you very attractive, very seductive. This person, if this is a past person returning, they could have also been caught up under the illusion of a seductress or a, seduct a seductor. What would you call a man? Somebody that seduces you. Um, a seducer. <laughs> so um, I do feel like for those, that for those of you who has a person from the past returning, they were caught up under the illusion of somebody else, a third party, somebody who seduced them, used sex, used money, okay? Um, but they're getting ready to come back towards you. For the new connections, your person could have been in a past relationship with someone who was a manipulator, who was a seducer. And they had to heal, they had to get themselves together um, so they could be ready for a new connection. And you're going you're gonna to walk into this connection with this new person. And you're getting ready to meet this person. If I make a move, yep. So, if your person is a past person that says, I'm ready to stop hiding from you, um, if this is a new person, it's just this person's finna come, okay? Um, no longer being out of your grasp, no longer being um, at a distance, even though you guys have never met each other. So, your energies are drawing you two into each other here, calling you back. Clarify new chapter, Pisces energy. That's a lot for real. Okay. So maybe it's for both. So I have, I miss how it feels being with you. So I do feel like um, if this is a past person, this person is missing how it feels to be with you. Look at this. Okay. So new or old person, babies. It says, I want you to have my baby. I want you to have my baby. Okay. Two, two cards of I want you to have my baby. So, old or new, this person could want to come in and want family with you. Point bank, period. Okay? Um, if this is an old person, they say, every time the phone rings, I hope that is you. If this is a new person coming in, I do feel like there will be a lot of communication between you and this new person. Verify this exciting news. Yes, yeah, so it says, many women or men want me, but I push them away because I'm in love with you. So, if this is a past person... They're pushing away whoever's trying to seduce them, whoever's trying to cause illusions, because they want you. If this is a new person, they're not going to see anybody but you. They're going to push away other women. They're going to push away other men because they're going to be in love with you. And they're going to want this long-term committed relationship with you. Bottom of the deck. Thoughts of you grow stronger every day. I can't stop thinking of you. So if there's a past person... The thoughts grow stronger. They, have, they can't stop thinking of you. If this is a new person, once they meet you, you're going to constantly be on their mind. And it's going to grow. And it's going to be a good thing. Okay? Yeah, it's going to be a very strong magnetic connection between the two of you, whether it's old or new. You are magnetic. I am so drawn to you. So either way, old or new, this person is going to be drawn to you because y'all have a soul connection. Both of you guys' chakras are open and in alignment. Okay? Whether it's old coming back they're healing so they can come back in alignment so they can be on the same page with you or if this is somebody new you've healed you got your chakras in alignment and you're calling in a reflection of you this is a spiritual journey babies okay so this is a divinely guided connection look it says i'm working on my relationship with god so whoever this is old or new they have a relationship with god they're healing they're doing the work and whether they're old or new, they're going to know you were sent from heaven to show them true love. Yep. 
They both have been through a reality check, whether they're an old person or a new person. And this is what's putting them in this path or on this path to come towards you, to come out of the illusions, to do the work, to go down the spiritual journey with you. Okay, babies? My fishy babies. So let's see um, possible zodiac signs of this person that's coming in, new or old. So for my babies, that's y'all been saying y'all want this new new. Your new new is here, babies. Your new new finna pop up on you. Um, and for my babies that still holding on for their person, you know, you haven't gave up on your person yet. You you, you know you you're trying to remain positive. You're trying to think good thoughts. Well, guess what? Your person's getting their shit together. Finally getting in alignment here. Who is this for Pisces? So Libra, Libra has popped out. I swear, I ain't missed the deck yet. And for sure, the last three weeks, Libra has popped out on every read, on every channel. So we have Capricorn. Who is this Pisces read for about? Who is this Pisces read for about? Huh, Pisces. So cross watcher, if you're watching for a Pisces. Your Pisces may be on their way to you, babies. We have Sagittarius, Taurus. We have Virgo. We have Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Scorpio. I heard one more. And then we have Leo. Bottom of the deck, we have Cancer. I heard cut. And we cut on Gemini. Okay, so Libra, Capricorn, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, and Aquarius with the air. That's what we're missing, okay? Let's see here. This deck. When is this person returning? Or when is Pisces meeting this new person? How long before this person returns? Or Pisces meets this new person. How long before this person returns? Or Pisces meets this new person. I heard three. So we'll do three three different time frames. One, two, is that three? That's three. Okay. That was three. That was three. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're hoping and wishing for somebody to return from the past. And spirit saying they're not coming. Um, maybe you should move forward towards a new person, okay? Um, that's why I say get a personal too. For others of you guys, this person's returning in July, and some are returning right now. Yes is a right now card, okay? Bottom of the deck, everything is working out in divine timing. So just so you will know for sure, if you are part of the not likely or right now or in the July crew, Get a personal, and like I say all the time, you do not have to book it with me. But please book it with somebody that you trust. Okay? Y'all already know I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. Now, if it's not you, I'm going to tell you it's not your person. Move on to somebody new. If it is your person, I'm going to tell you, give you, you know, give this person a chance or whatever the case may be for you. But yeah, not likely, yes, and in July. So right now, by July and... Some of you guys need to move on to a new person. Um, huh. They just told me this too. For you guys that are waiting on a new person, if you have not healed and released the past person, you fall in this not likely com column, okay? So make sure you're healed. Make sure you're whole. Make sure you're doing the work. Because God is not going to send you somebody who's working on themselves, who's healing, who's doing the work if you haven't. Okay? So if you're still lying to yourself, then that could be why he had me on that rant earlier, too. If you're still lying to yourself, you need to let it go so that you can move forward and get this connection that you truly want. Okay, babies? So hopefully that helped you guys. If you uh, need a personal, you already know my information is down below in the description box. If you need me for anything else, it's down below in the description box how you can get in contact with me, buy products and all that good old stuff. Um, if you're interested in leaving a tip or donation or... Um, Checking out my Amazon wish list. All that is down below in the description box. Until next time, my loves. You keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah!
Bye, my fishy babies.